All right, I rebuilt my observatory. It took me about a month and a few weeks to build this thing. So I'll turn this camera around and show you how everything looks. Okay, here's the observatory right here. I kept the same deck platform that the uh, plastic Rubbermaid shed was on. So it's the same deck, same floor still in here. I just extended the walls to go all the way to the end of the deck instead of it being smaller. So this is my first time doing uh, roofing, roof with shingles, drip edge, all around here and my first time doing vinyl siding. Now I've had, I got plenty of tools, like I got air compressor, framing nailer, finishing nailer and stuff like that. That helped out a whole lot with the plywood and the frame. And um, even his stuff like here, like the trim, this is like PVC uh, trim that's along the edges and the bottom. And I use framing, a framing nail for that. So it worked out real good with that. This door is, um, it's, I forgot the name of it, but a siding that's made it go on sheds. I just painted it so it, it matches and it's protected. And here's some details on the side. See, I got the PVC board all around the bottom here. And I had to use four by four uh, wood for the rails to sit on and for the uh, braces at the bottom right here. And this time what I did was I kept the original, um, the spikes that went to the ground, they, they were like over here. So I had to move them all the way back here and I put concrete around them just for extra support since this is more weight now. And this is my sky camera now. I switched over to a wise pan tilt outdoor other camera I had, which is wise, did great. But once we started getting into a few temperatures of the 80s, it overheated inside that dome. So this camera's outdoor pan tilt. So far, I hadn't had any issues. Today got to 88 degrees, no issues. As far as the back, I still have solar fans, but this, these are the 180 millimeter solar fans from Amazon. It comes with a 25 watt solar panel. This thing moves a lot of air. Works real good too. Uh, as far as weather stripping, I use, um, brush seals around the openings for everything over here, you know, and around the top. And this is weather stripping from my other observatory. I just put around where the roof separates from the rest of the shed itself. So let's come around and show you some of the inside stuff. It took a while to get this stuff set up too. Uh, see brush seals around here. I got brush seals around the edges all up under here. And since I wanted the roof to go all the way back, I had to extend my two by four all the way out for the railing. So I had to use a paintbrush seal. I used a paintbrush here, turn it sideways. That's the seal for that. Just like a drip edge I put over here for water won't blow in and everything. So let's open it up and show you what it looks like. It's nice and smooth too. This is the inside, let me open the door. You see when I built this door, I just used basic two by fours and made a little frame for support. And this is like a, uh, jury rig uh, gate cane just to keep the door open with the winds and everything like that. So this inside, see the original floor is still here. And I did um, put some, this is like floor mat for like kids and everything. I just put this over the holes for the legs since right now, just keep extra dust and stuff from being sucked up in by those fans. Original um, dehumidifier still working. It's my same old 8SC telescope out here. And it's the inside. So I built my frame and walls and everything like that. This is the Wi-Fi controlled relay contact closure. You can open close the roof from here or use Wi-Fi or anywhere in the world if you want to do it. Some more details on the inside. I have um, a monitor hung right here on the wall. It's just a little 19 inch flat uh, panel TV. My keyboard and mouse is wireless is in there, but I rarely have to use it because everything is done with Google remote desktop. My mini computer is here. It's um, B-Link mini PC. And I extended the Wi-Fi because I'll um, come around to the other side. The Wi-Fi that's built in here was pretty good, but it was dropping a little bit lower speeds and everything. So I got this USB 3.01 and got this external hooked up. And that boosted my signal perfect. I mean, it's perfect now. And he said put LED light strips all around here, all around. And it's my ring sensor. So I know when uh, the roof is open, the roof is closed. And as far as the gate motor, I had to extend the magnets like some people do from inside of here up to here. And I had to notch the wood out a little bit so you can see it where it won't come in contact with the roof. See, there's the solar fans right here in the back. As far as on the roof motor, the roof is on a soft start, but it's still a little jolt sometimes. So I, Astro Bloke put this tip out there. He bought a um, motor speed controller that's used for like fans and tools and everything. So I plugged, I already had one from years ago. I plugged this thing up took off about 10 volts. That's all you can do, about 10 volts. 
So we're 120 here, so dropped it down to about 110, and that's a smoother, soft start. And it works out pretty good. All right, that's closing. Here you can see the inside, how I built the roof and everything like that. I just kind of made all this up as I went along. I had no plans, no instructions. I just knew built the walls a certain height and I made all this up as I went along. You can see these magnets over here where I had to um, notch the wood down just a little bit so that when the magnet comes across the sensor, it doesn't clip it. But this side I had to do the, um, the railing system. I just took two by fours, notched them and hung them up and a long two by four inside and put the track along here. And that's how that works. There's a magnetic sensor at this end and that's it really. I mean, brush seal across there and that's it. So far we had rain and wind and everything's been good. There's no leaks or anything like that. I kept my original wheels from the previous roll off roof. I recycled pretty much every screw, every nut bolt piece of uh, two by four, even though it was a few. And I used those for the walls in here. I recycled every single thing. Of course I had to buy stuff, but um, that's basically how I did it. So that's basically how it came out. So that's it, that's the new observatory. Hopefully this will last for years because I have vinyl siding and I sealed everything with silicone, caulk and stuff like that. So it shouldn't have any leaks. So I had my first light two nights ago. I ran all night long and it seemed to work great. Next step is automation through Arduino. I still have all the Arduino boards. I just need to hook them up in here. So that's it, I'm gonna, um, at the end of this video, I'm gonna put my solar eclipse pictures that I took from my patio. Yeah, I'm gonna put those pictures at the end of this video. I just had a couple neighbors over. My daughter was home from school, uh, just in time for to catch it. And all I did was uh, I used a uh, Celestron AVX mount, my old uh, Orion short tube 80 scope, and I put a DSLR camera under that with a 2X Barlow, hooked it up to a TV. We sat on the patio and watched the eclipse on the TV and it came out pretty good. Even though it was just partial, the clips here wasn't a full, but I'll put those pictures at the end. I have to show it open and close one more time. It's so cool. It's so smooth and quiet.